Well, it's morning, early. And uh, the reason I'm doing this early is because I'm finding that if I wait till afternoon and start working on my clay, my eyes get so tired I can't see anything and I can't focus. And uh, so I'm going to start early and uh, take advantage of my uh, just getting out of bed eyes. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to uh, try to finish up uh, well, this head I did yet the other day. I got these two heads here, and I want to redo this head here. So that's three heads I'm going to be doing. I don't think I'm going to be doing it on camera, uh, only because uh, it's quite actually boring. Uh, what I will do is come back, and if I'm still able to, I'll work on the, uh, the mane and the tails uh, and show you that. But, uh, yeah, that's the reason why I haven't been sculpting much, because... My eyes have just uh, been unable to focus uh, late in the afternoon. And usually by the time I get done with everything I have to get done during the day, it's usually about 4 o'clock in the afternoon before I can get into sculpting. All right, it's uh, just about 8 o'clock in the morning right now. So I see I got my eyes are fresh, I hope. Let's see what we can do.
Well, I'm back, and uh, I've finally uh, finished up uh, the heads. Uh, it's getting too late in the afternoon now to uh, go any further with it. Uh, tomorrow I'll try to work on the mane of the horses. It depends on my eyesight again. Uh, I had a good day today, and uh, it's about uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I had a DVD that I sold to a gentleman back in Virginia, and I had to get that uh, out to him today, so that took about an hour and a half out of my day, but, uh, by the way, I, I do have DVDs for sale <laughs> on how to sculpt, and it takes advantage of the uh, over 50 years that I've been sculpting, it takes advantage of all the techniques and shortcuts and uh, and the things that uh, I've come up with to make something that looks hard actually easy to do. Uh, so please uh, take check out uh, the link below this video and uh, purchase a DVD or two or three. I've got uh, quite a few. Anyway, the horses are done. I mean, as far as the heads are concerned, I've got some detail work to do. I've been filling in just a little bit. This was the last head. I redid this head. I did about two of these heads twice. Uh, and I think I got every one of them that way I like them. They're all looking good now. Um, like I said, tomorrow I'll, I've, I've figured out a way that I might be able to do the mane of the horses and, and then attach it to the horses. So I'm just going to uh, work that out tomorrow. I've uh, reworked these three horses here, or four horses here, and then one back here that I redid the head on. And uh, I'm, I'm happy with the way this is turning out. Um, I've still got one leg hanging out there by itself, and I, I've got to try to uh, fill that in somehow. i got to figure out that in this one here, too. And so those legs need to be uh, filled in behind so it won't add to the uh, cost of producing the, uh, the clay or the bronze. All right, that's going to be it for today, and I'll see you guys manana. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.